Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, and welcome to a time of worship. I am your host, Bishop Darrell Towns. Praise the name of God. We give God glory, we give God praise for what God has done this day, and we thank and praise God for all that he has done for us. It's a pleasure and an honor to come, praise the Lord, into your homes, into your vehicles, wherever you may be viewing this broadcast. Amen. We just thank God that we can come today, give God praise, give God glory, give God worship. Amen. We want to once again welcome you to a time of worship. I am your host, Bishop Daryl Town. Praise God. We thank God for you today. We praise God for you today being with us. Amen. We thank God that you joined us. Amen. You that are joining us by Facebook. Amen. You that are joining us by Ustream. Amen. We praise God for you watching today. We've got a message for you today. But before we go into our message, amen, we just want to let you know that you can write us at our email address, worship, word, and praise, tabernacle at outlook.com. I mean, I'm sorry, at outlook.com. That is correct. Worship, word, and praise, tabernacle at outlook.com. Or you can contact us at our ministry phone number at 917-334-2995. That's 917-334-2995. Now, I just want to make a very important announcement. Thursday night coming will be our last Thursday night until God gives us further direction for our upper room prayer hour. We'll be on Thursday night praying for the needs of God's people. That dial-in number is 515-614-9000. That's 515-614-9000. Amen. We'll be on Thursday night on the line praying for the needs of God's people. Meet us there from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. This will be our last Thursday night until God gives us further direction concerning our prayer hour and our prayer line. We want to give a shout out. Amen. And praise God for, we thank God for the Victoria International Fellowship of Churches, especially our chief apostle, Apostle Larry E. Boston. We thank God for our chief apostle. We praise God for him who's been a blessing to this ministry and to me down through the years that I've been under his covering. Amen. We thank God for him. We thank God for our, our first assistant as well, our apostle. Our first assistant, our elder, Bishop Billy Perry, Billy M. Perry. So we thank God for him out of Greensboro, North Carolina. We thank God for our Bishop Perry, our first assistant in the Victoria International Fellowship of Churches. We also want to give a shout out to our international secretary. Yes, our international secretary, our evangelist, Deborah Austin. We thank God for her and we praise God for her today. Amen. And we thank God for each one of you that have thought it not robbery to view this broadcast today. Amen. Just want to make one more announcement. We're going to prayer. We're going to the word of God. Amen. Every Sunday we worship with, we join in worship. Get that. Join in worship with Prevailing Rock Ministries at 239, at 293 Forsake Street in Hackensack, where Elder William Spellman is pastor who will be preaching every morning. We join in with him until God gives us our own building. We believe in God. For our own building, we can start our worship services and worship God as God directs this ministry. But until that time comes, until God opens that door, we are, we are joining in worship with Prevailing Rocks. You can meet me there, amen, on Sunday mornings at 11.30 and then Friday night at 7 p.m., amen. He is also having his Friday night services, amen. So we thank and praise God for Elder Spellman, who has also been a blessing to us from Prevailing Rock Ministries. Amen. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Also, if you are viewing, praise God, by way of uh, uh, Ustream, you're viewing by way of Ustream, you can open up your chat, praise God, and you can chat with me. We thank God for those who are viewing by way of Facebook. Amen. We praise God for you, and we thank God for you, our sister Cynthia Knight and our evangelist Deborah Austin. We praise God for you. Yes, we see you, and we thank God for you viewing the time of worship with your host, Bishop Darrell Towns. And we thank God. Amen. I am the bishop. I am the New Jersey State Bishop for the Victoria International Fellowship of churches appointed by none other than our chief apostle, Bishop Larry Earl Boston. And we thank God for him out of Jacksonville, Florida, our headquarter church, the temple at Victoria. And we thank God for him and we praise God 
for him. Let's go to the Lord in prayer, and then we're going straight to the word of God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, O oh God, for this day. This is the day that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We will give you praise, and we will give you glory, and we will give you the honor today, God. We bind the enemy in all of his cause and every distraction. We come against every mechanical, every, every failure on these live streams. In the name of Jesus, when the interruption, we send it back to the pits. And we thank you, O oh God, our hearts are open to receive, and the ears are open to receive your ingratitude. Crafted word, we give you praise and we give you glory. In Jesus' name, it is so. Amen. I just want to teach just a little while today. I'm going to try. Amen. I'm going to guarantee it, but I'm going to try. I want to teach just a little bit today from the subject. Take a look at yourself before you look at others. Take a look at yourself before you look at others. Reading from the book of Matthew, chapter 7. Amen. The book of Matthew, chapter 7. And we want to begin at verses 1, and we're going to end around verse 5. Judge not that you be not judged, for with judgment you judge, you shall be judged. And with measure you meet, it shall be measured to you again. And why do you behold the moat that is in your brother's eye? Did you hear? Did I say something? And why, did, why do you behold the moat that is in your brother's eye? But consider not the beam that is in your own eye. Or how will you say to your brother, let me pull out the moat out of your eye, and behold, a beam is in your own eye. You hypocrite, first cast the beam out of your own eye, then you shall see clearly to cast out the moat out of your brother's eye. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast your pearls before the swine. The, the Lord, word of the Lord is already blessed. Take a look at yourself. Before you look at others. Matthew here in the book of Matthew. Jesus is talking to the Pharisees and the sad you see. Amen. He's talking to them and he's trying to get them to understand about hypocrisy. Hypocrisy, a hypocrite, is simply a person claiming to be something but acting in a different manner. We've got a lot of folk out here today. And I'm talking from the pulpit to the door. Did I say something? I'm talking from the pulpit to the door that is claiming to be saved, claiming to be a prophet, claiming to be an apostle, claiming to be a bishop, claiming to be a saint of God, and living a life that is not of God. Did I say something? Amen. We got a lot of folk that are, that are committing hypocrisy today. They're claiming they're saved all day long, sanctified and filled with the precious Holy Ghost. But yet their life does not exemplify the characteristic and life of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Well, we see here, when Jesus says to the scribes and the Pharisees, he says, uh, he says here in, oh, praise God, in the, uh, the, 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 the third verse, I believe it is, in the third verse, it says, why do you behold the moat that is in your brother's eye? We got so many folk today that are looking at other people's faults and shortcomings. And they quick to put them in the bowels in the lower pits of hell. They quick to cast judgment and say they're not saved. They're quick to say they got to pray need to divine Jesus all over again. But I want to encourage you today, those that are watching, I want to encourage you today, take a look at yourself before you look at others. Make sure that your backyard is clean. Make sure that your life is clean before you point the finger at somebody else. Did I say something? Oh, praise the name of God. Then it says here in the fourth verse, Oh, how will you say to your brother, let me pull out the moat out of your eye, and behold, the beam is in your own eye. You so busy looking at me. You so busy saying, well, Bishop this and Bishop that. But I wonder, mm, I wonder what's in your yard. Oh, well, praise the Lord. I wonder what's in your backyard. I wonder what you got hidden in your closets. I wonder what skeletons are hanging up around your closets. Oh, praise the name of God. Take a look at yourself before you look at others. Make sure that your house and your background is clean before you try to clean my yard. You know, I, I, as a little boy, I used to rake leaves because my mama didn't play that nonsense. She had me do something during the summer. It wasn't no such thing as just lollygagging around the house. She had me to do something. And those that know Sister Ruby Town 
knew that she, praise the Lord, knew that she, uh, uh, praise God, knew that she didn't play. Well, she had me raking leaves during the fall. And, and I can remember as I raked one yard, the other yard looked over and there was another yard that needed raking. So I couldn't say, well, yard A was just is, is, is not as bad as yard B. What am I trying to say today? I'm simply trying to get you to understand that you've got to clean up your act before you start picking on me. you got to clean up your act before you start pointing your finger at my fault and my shortcomings. Oh, praise the name of God. Now turn with me, if you will. Well, well turn with me to Isaiah 29 and 13. Let me go over to the Old Testament, if you will. Oh, Isaiah 29 and 13 says, praise God, wherefore the Lord says, for as much as these people draw nigh to me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me and their forward and their and their fear towards me is taught by the precept of men. What is the Bible saying here? He's saying, although you got a form of God, but you're denying the power. You go to church every day, every time the church doors open, every time the church bell rings, every time the choir marches down the aisle. I don't think they do that no more. But every time the choir sings a song, you're the first one on the floor. Well, I want you to take a look at yourself before you look at me. Is your house clean? Have you cleaned up your house? Mm. Have you got yourself straight now? But praise God, I, I, I just want to encourage you today because I am so sick and tired of folk casting judgment on people. Mm. Did I say something? I'm tired of folk casting judgment on preachers. Amen. All because they fall, as they say, from grace. Well, the Bible says all have sinned. I didn't write it. I just preach it. The Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Amen. So I want to, I want you to clearly understand today that you've got to look at yourself before you look at others, before you judge somebody else, before you pick out somebody else's sin and shortcomings. I want you to look at yourself. Before you look at others. How can you, the Bible clearly said in our text, how can you take the moat and the beam out in my eye when you got a moat in your own? Hallelujah. How can you call out my sin when you got some sin of your own? Oh, praise the name of God. Thank you, Jesus. John chapter 7, if you will. Praise God. John chapter 7. I want to go over to the book of Psalm John real quick. Amen. Praise God. John chapter 7, praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We'll tie this up in just a moment. John chapter 7, beginning at verse 24. Praise God. John chapter 7, verse 24. Praise the name of God. It says here in the Holy Scriptures, in John chapter 7, verses 24. Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Then said some of them of Jerusalem, whom seek to kill him. But we speak boldly, and they say nothing unto him. And the rulers, indeed, uh, that is, this is the very Christ. But going back up to that verse, judge not according to appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Now, let me break down that, if you will. Because people will quickly catch on to that scripture and say, we got to write the past judgment. Let me tell you something. The Bible said you will know them by their fruits. Now, we don't have the position to judge. But the Bible clearly lets us know. Judge and you shall not be judged. For with the same judgment who you will be judged with. But in order to judge righteous judgment, can I break it down? In order to judge righteous judgment, you've got to know what the word says about the situation. Oh, bless his name. You got to know what the word says about the situation. You got to know what the word, yes, you can judge it up against the word. What does the word say about it? If the word calls it sin, you can call it sin. But the Bible, but take a look at yourself before you look at others. Oh, praise the name. That's the subject. Take a look at yourself before you look at others. So in order to know a lie from the truth, you have to know what the word says. In order to know what sin is, you got to know what the word says. 
Know your Bible. Know what God says in his word. So take a look at yourself. Clean around your own back door, if you will. Oh, praise the Lord. Clean around your own back door before you try to clean around mine. Go to back to Matthew chapter 7. And I want to go down to verse 15. And I'm going to close at verse 15. Oh, praise God. I want to close at verse 15. Verse 15 says here in the seventh chapter of Matthew. Praise God. It says, uh, beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep clothing. You shall know them by their fruits. Uh, do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every tree brings forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree brings forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil, from neither from, can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that brings forth good fruit is hewed, is every tree that brings forth good fruit is hewed down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits you shall know them. By their fruits you shall know them. You shall know who is who by the fruit that they bear. If they're not bearing the fruit of our Lord and Savior, and I'm not going to get into that in Galatians, but go to Galatians and look at the fruits of the Spirit. If they're not bearing the fruits, I, I would beware of who I'm dealing with. Did I say something? If I am not seeing the fruits of the Spirit, if I am not seeing the characteristics of Christ, I need to be wary of who I'm dealing with. But before you can point that finger, make sure your yard is clean. The Bible also lets us know, hallelujah, that uh, he told the Pharisees, you clean the inside of the cup, but the outside, now you clean the outside of the cup, I believe, but the inside is still dirty. Oh, praise God. The inside is still dirty. You, you, you clean the platter, but the inside is still dirty. You got so many folk today walking around here dressed up in, 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 in the beautiful clothes. And you know, years ago, some of y'all that are watching, they've been saying about as long as I've been saying the longer. You know, back in holiness in them days, it was you got to take off this and you got to put on this and you got to take off that. Talk about the outer appearance. And so many folk were dressed up in holiness on the exterior. But on the interior, there was no holiness. Praise the name of God. There was no holiness. Hallelujah. But the Bible lets us know that we have to clean up the inside as well as the outside. So I want to leave you with this question. Is your inside clean? Mm, did I say something? Is your inside clean? Is your life clean before God? Are you living a holy life? Well, Brother Bishop, I'm living all that I know to do. No, well, my, my friend, you got to live what the Bible says and all that the Bible says to do. Because when you try to do it and self, self will fail you every time. Oh, but God is looking for holy people. God is looking for clean people. God is looking for a people that is willing to clean up and clean up their acts. So I need to ask the question this evening, are, are you living that clean life? Are you living that holy life? I feel the preacher. Are you living that kind of life that is pleasing to God? So before you cast judgment on me, before you cast judgment on your brother or your sister, take a look at yourself and then you can look at others differently. Hallelujah. I believe the songwriter said, take a look at yourself and then you can look at others differently. So you must take a look at yourself as the book takes a look at you. Uh, is your life clean? Are you loving your brother and your sister the way the Bible tells us to love? Are you are you feeding the homeless? Are you are you going next door and watching out for that neighbor who may be in need? Well, preacher, I don't know who they are. The Bible didn't say if you knew them. It said if you see somebody in need, you are to meet that need. Oh, praise the name of God. And it's time for us as believers. It's time for us as true saints of God who are confessing to be saints of God. It's time for us. Praise God. It's time for us to start to live holy and stop judging one another. Stop judging one another. For there is none righteous, no, not one. 
There is none pure. No, not one. We are all like filthy rags in the sight of our Lord Savior. But because of the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Because of his grace and his mercy. Hallelujah. Because of the blood. Praise the name of God. Because of the blood of Jesus. We can stand pure in the sight of God. Hallelujah. We can stand cleansed in the sight of God. Oh, praise God. So take a look at yourself today. Before you cast the stones at someone else. Uh, Jesus said to the Pharisees when they brought the woman caught in adultery. Uh, did I say something? When they brought the woman caught in adultery. Amen. They brought her to Jesus. And they said, Jesus, this, we caught this woman in adultery. The Bible says Jesus stooped on the ground. Wrote something on the ground. Never revealed what he wrote. But he wrote something on the ground. And the Bible says that when he wrote on the ground, he just looked up and he said, woman, where are thine accusers? She says, I have none. He says, neither do I. Rise up, go and sin no more. Now, Jesus can forgive. Where are we today? Hallelujah. Where are we today? It is time for us to stop the judgment. Stop sitting in judgment seat. And leave the judgment to God. Amen. Leave it to God. For we all going to stand before the judgment seat of Christ. And as I said on last Sunday. Uh, we're going to give an account for every word. And every deed that we have done. In this body. And in this world. So leave the judgment to God. Leave God's judgment to him. Let him judge us. Let him judge us on that great getting up morning. For Jesus surely getting us ready. For that great day. Praise the name of God. Take a look at yourself. Before you look at others. Praise God. Look at your own self. Is your house clean? Is your backyard straightened out? Is your bedroom straightened out? Oh praise the name of God. Stop casting judgment on every preacher. Every bishop that comes along. Hallelujah. My Bible tells me keep your mouth off the bishop. That's what I was always taught. Keep your mouth off the preacher. No matter what their title is, keep your mouth off the preacher and let God deal with him. Praise the name of God. So is your backyard clean? Take a look at yourself before you look at others. And then you can see them differently. Hallelujah. When you look at yourself and you realize I am not that clean before God. And I got some stuff going on in my life. Then you can look at others compassionately. You can look at others with mercy and grace. And realize that we still got a long way to go. But the Bible declared we're ever, live, ever learning, but never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So take a look at others before you look at yourself. Praise God. Take a look at others. God is calling for righteousness. God is calling for people who are clean and pure. God is calling for people who have mercy and compassion in these days and times. And I declare to you that it's time for us as saints of God. I declare it's time for us, praise God, to look in the book and see where we are. And then get our lives together. Get our lives sanctified. Get our lives pure before the Lord. Because when Jesus is coming back, we've heard this now for a couple of days. Jesus is coming back. He's coming back for a church without spot and without wrinkle. And if you're not ready for the coming, I declare you're going to be left behind. Amen. So if you've been watching, and I don't know, but if you've been watching, and you don't know who Jesus is. You know, I don't leave these airwaves. You don't know who Jesus is. I want you to bow your head right now. Just pray with me, Father, in the name of Jesus. I'm a sinner. Forgive me of my sins. I accept Jesus Christ as my personal Savior. And I make him Lord of my life. Clean me up, Lord. I am yours. My body, soul, and spirit now belongs to you. And I can make you Lord of my life. The Bible says in Romans chapter 10, you confess with your mouth. Believe in your heart that Christ has been raised from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. But with the heart, man believeth unto salvation. And with the mouth, confession is made. If you prayed that prayer for the first time, I want you to write us at our email address. Worship, Word, and Praise, Evangelistic Tabernacle 
at Outlook.com. Worship Word and Praise, Evangelistic Tabernacle at Outlook.com. Write us there at our ministry email. Let us know that you have accepted Christ as your personal Savior. We want to get some pertinent, important information into your hands to help you grow in the Lord. Amen. If you're looking, if you're a minister or a pastor and you're looking for a covering, I invite you to join. Hallelujah. Join the Victoria International Fellowship of Churches. If you're in the New Jersey area, I will be your state bishop. Amen. For I am the state bishop for the, for the Victoria International Fellowship of Churches out of Jacksonville, Florida. I'm the New Jersey state bishop. Bishop Larry Earl Boston is my chief apostle. Amen. If you're looking for a covering, I invite you to join us. Become a part of us. Amen. We thank God for each one of you that have viewed us by way of Facebook. Amen. We thank God for our Cynthia McKnight, our De evangelist Deborah Austin, our Curtis A. Green, and our amen, elder Ronald Hull, my good dear friend out of Ohio. We thank God for you, and we praise God for you today. Amen. Remember, we're here every Sunday. Amen. We're here every Sunday broadcasting and preaching the gospel, not only on our live Facebook page, but we're also here, praise God, on our Ustream TV at www.ustreamtv.com, a time of worship. We thank God for you today, and we praise God for you joining us today. It's been a blessing. It's been a blessing. Remember, write us, let us know that you've enjoyed this broadcast. You got a prayer request? Amen. Is email me that prayer request, and I guarantee I'm going to put you on the prayer list, and you don't know, I, I, God blesses, and I tell you, God answers, and God answers because I learned to believe God. I have no other choice. When the woman of God that sits by my side, my wife, Amen. And the enemy tapped her body. Amen. Put her in a coma. Said she wasn't going to make it eight years ago. Hallelujah. I took her off her life support after a week and a half. Amen. Took off her life support. The devil said, she's going to die. But I said, oh, no. Hallelujah. I'm trusting God. And she sits by my side after eight years. She sits by my side, yet praising God. And I'm expecting the manifestation of, of the completion of the miracle that God has already started in my life and in her life. Amen. Now, if you want to hear more about that, you can also view this broadcast, amen, on YouTube. Amen. On my YouTube station, amen, uh, Bishop Daryl Towns and all of my broadcasts are there, especially the one, How a Man Should Love a Husband. My wife is sitting by my side doing that broadcast. Amen. So we want you to join us there. Praise God on our YouTube. All of our broadcasts will be there. This one will be there within an hour. It'll be over on YouTube. You can see it again. Amen. And join us every Sunday at 7 p.m. Amen. Right here on YouTube. Right here on Ustream. Amen. TV, a time of worship. And of course, amen, simulcast on Facebook. Amen. We thank God for you today. We praise God for you. We're going to leave. We're getting ready to leave you. Amen. But from the presence of God, I am your host, Bishop Darrell Town, pastor, founder of Worship, Word, and Praise. Evangelistic Tabernacle Church Ministries. Amen. Out of Patterson, temporarily out of Patterson, New Jersey. Amen. Amen. We believe in God to take us to a different location. Amen. We can do what the Lord has called us to do. And we thank God for you today. It's going so good. Amen. To know my good friend Ronald Hull. Amen. Is viewing. God bless you, my Elder Ronald Hull. Ah, oh, I love you, my brother. Miss you. Amen. You and the family. Give him my love. Amen. We thank and praise God for each one of you today. And we thank God for you joining us today here on a uh, time of worship. And we praise God for you. Amen. Joining us here on a time of worship. It's a blessing. Amen. It's a blessing. Hallelujah. For you to have joined us today. Hallelujah. And we thank God for you. You're getting ready to leave the airways, beloved. Amen. But I just want to pray the prayer of faith. Amen. Somebody may be have a need in your life. You may need a healing right now. You may be going through something. You may be dealing with an issue. And I just want to pray the prayer of faith. If you dare to believe God with me, I want you to lay your hand into my hand as a point of contact. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, right now, God, we ask that those that are viewing, God, and those who have family and friends or acquaintances that are going through a situation, as they touch and agree with me right now. In the name of Jesus, I bind it 
right now. Whatever the situation is, come against every sickness. Come against the spirit of depression and oppression. Come against everything. I even come against the spirit of lack in the name of Jesus. I release the spirit of prosperity in Jesus' name. And God, we thank you right now. And we give you the praise and we give you the glory. For you said in your word, God, we'll be loose on earth, we'll be loose in heaven, we'll be binding earth is bound in heaven. So God, we thank you right now. We give you the praise and we give you the glory. In Jesus' name. We deem it so. We decree it so. For you said in your word, if we decree it, then it shall come to pass. So God, we decree it and we thank you for it right now. In the name of Jesus. And we give you the praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' name. Amen. It is so. Amen. We thank God for you joining us today on a time of worship. And we praise God for each one of you. Amen. Look, tell somebody that the bishop is on every Sunday, 7 p.m. Let somebody know to tune in. Amen. By way of Facebook, let somebody know. Well, if you're my Facebook friend, you can view it. Amen. But let somebody know, tune in to a time of worship on Ustream TV. Amen. And join us every Sunday at 7 p.m. Amen. As we declare the unadulterated word of God. I thank God today. Amen. I didn't get to where I am. Amen. I got here through trials and tribulations, through tears. Amen. Amen. And through prayer. And I thank God for all the men of God in my life that have taught me, that have toiled with me. And I praise God for each one of you viewing today. I thank God for each one of you viewing today. But I bless God. Amen. Today's broadcast, I want to dedicate today's broadcast, amen, to a very special person, amen, that has special impact in my life. Amen. And who, who mentored me, amen, for a period of time in my life. That was a father in the ministry and a spiritual father to me. And I speak none other than the late El Bishop Arthur Lee Hall, my spiritual father. I want to dedicate today's broadcast to him. Amen. I thank God for him and what he has meant to me. Amen. And how he has helped me to grow, how he has helped me to endure. And some of the things that he has taught me and instilled and implanted in my spirit, amen, has been so useful and helpful to me today as I was elevated to this office of bishop. And I thank God for Elder, the late Bishop Lee, A. Lee Hall, amen, Arthur Lee Hall. And we thank God for Bishop Hall, the late Bishop Hall. We praise God for him. Continue to pray for me, beloved. Amen. Continue to pray for me. Continue to pray for me. God bless you, Sister Beverly Hoth, and we thank God for you all as well. And I'm still praying for your daughter. We're still praying. The ministry is still praying, yet believing God for total healing. We thank God for you. Know that we're touching and agreeing here in New Jersey. Amen. We bless God for you. We're getting ready to leave it now. Amen. We thank God. Remember the word. Take a look at yourself before you look at others. Amen. Take a look at yourself before you look at others. Amen. Matthew chapter 7, verses 1 through 5. Take a, take, read it over again. Amen. Take a look at yourself. Amen. Remember one thing as I leave you now. When you point the finger, you got three pointing back at you. Did I say something? Amen. God bless you. God bless you. We love you. Amen. And we thank God for each and every one of you. Amen. We thank God. Amen. Bless your heart. Amen. And Sister Hawthorne, God bless your heart. That's my hometown sister. Amen. We fell from Hackensack. Amen. It gives Hackensack a shout out. Amen. Break. Praise God for Hackensack. And we thank God for you today. We praise God for each one of you today. Amen. We thank God especially for Evangelist Austin. Amen. Our, amen. Our national secretary. We thank God for her. We praise God for you. Again, we shout out to our presiding bishop. Amen. We honor and we thank God for him, our Apostle Larry E. Boston out of Jacksonville, Florida. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much for viewing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you and give you shalom, even peace. Now, hits up and forevermore is our prayer in Jesus' name. Remember, you don't have any trouble. All you need is faith in God. Don't drown and don't sink. Tie a knot in the end of the rope. And hold on, for help is already on the way. God bless you is our prayer. Goodbye for now.